Welcome back. What you just heard was a song called Vessel by Ron Ed Harrison. And who do we have here with us the in vessel. the studio today? The, the vessel. vessel. Right, right. I just want to be a yeah, vessel. It is, yes. Right. I, I'll, I'll end our broadcast with that. But, uh, uh, but thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much for having it's, me. I appreciate a, the opportunity. You know, I had to make the show good before I had you on here to make sure you know we just interview you all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> You did good, Philip. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. Praise God. It's not about me. <laughs> it's not about me. Let's talk, Ronette. Uh, let's talk about your beginning, how you got started. Oh, Obviously, you are a, I don't know, I don't know how many things you can do, but I know you can play and sing. Yes. Uh, but talk about how you got started. So, my upbringing, I was brought up under the mm -hmm. wonderful Shirley Abels. Uh -huh. Shirley Abels mm -hmm. and the Joy Gospel Singers. That's my godmother. And my mom also sang in the group. So, growing up around music, you know, you kind of didn't have a choice. See, I wanted to be a dancer. You know, a classical mm, Okay. Classical. Okay. That's what, that was, I was going to tap. But, you know, um, I ended up getting pushed into taking piano lessons because mm -hmm. my mom was like, well, you doing more at home than you are in the actual dance class. So mm -hmm. I ended up taking piano lessons and I'm so glad I did because I started playing for churches at the age of about eight or nine. Wow. And I've been playing for churches ever since. Mm. So, you know, my classmates talking about making their little Twenty thirty dollars babysitting. I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, well, no idea. Right. 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 Because everybody mm -hmm. doesn't know how to teach it. You, know, you, you get what I'm saying. Everybody mm -hmm. don't know how to teach. Right. So that's how I grew up in music. And then going to Suitland High School for the performing arts. Um, and then off to Towson University. Mm -hmm. um, I was classically trained. And yes, I do have my degree. Who was your instructor? Uh, you went to Towson? Yes. My wife went to Towson. That's a... Who was your instructor? Piano instructor at Towson. At Towson? Oh, my goodness. Mr. Reyes is his name. Okay. He was so sweet. He would always fall asleep in the lesson. But is anytime right? I made a mistake, he wake up, didn't right. he? Right. I was like, yo, that is so crazy. You was dead sleep. Like, what is going on? He wasn't that sleep. No, he was not that sleep. He was so lazy. You were a school teacher for a time? Yes. Got my degree in music education. Mm -hmm. Went straight into teaching music in PG County Public School System. Mm -hmm. Shout out to PG County. I came to see you one time promoting yes. the camp. Yes. I remember. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That's actually where we met. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Peachy County School teaching right here too. Yeah. And so, um, mm -hmm. did that for about nine years before stepping away to do music ministry full time. How did you get the faith to step away from a full time job? I mean, how did you? I I'm mean, that takes a lot. That. Yeah, that, <laughs> how did you get the faith? That takes a lot of guts. How yeah. did you do that? I mean, did you see a black Jesus with <laughs> braids at the foot of your bed? I mean, <laughs> Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should uh, quit. <laughs> <laughs> quit, daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I tried to walk away from the school system before that. Mm -hmm. um, and Jesus was like, now you know better. Mm -hmm. like, you remember I was talking about it all day. I'm like, I want to be here. Mm -hmm. I really just want to teach full time. It's not that my love for teaching went anywhere. Mm -hmm. I still love to do it, but not in the public school setting. And so um, when I tried to leave, that didn't work. So I came back couple months later right after that summer was over and um a few years after that was when god said now it's time and the crazy thing about it was i didn't say anything to my students or their parents but they knew at the um my last spring concert that i held for my um, chorus kids i would always surprise them and perform for them at the end of the concert oh wow that's that's good and so um that performance is actually one of my first YouTube videos mm -hmm. I sang for every mountain mm -hmm. and the kids were losing it like this public school now mm -hmm. and they go hallelujah like <laughs> so after it was over the parents literally cornered me and was like you're done aren't you mm -hmm. like you're not coming back it was like they wow. saw it like wow. you're mm -hmm. not coming back I was like mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, but yeah, they was like, you know, you, it's time though. Mm -hmm. It's time. And so I thank God for the opportunity because that's not everybody's testimony. Mm -hmm. It's not for everybody to mm -hmm. leave their nine to five. Let's be real clear mm -hmm. about that. Everybody has mm -hmm. their own journey. That's so, right. you know, make sure you pray and seek God for um, what his will for your life is mm -hmm. before you, you know, say goodbye to the benefits. Right. Like, Come on now. <laughs> uh -huh. In your opinion, what are the tools needed for somebody to walk away? Like, what do they need to have mastered uh, to to keep to continue to make a decent living? Mm -hmm. um, aside from having a very close relationship with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And being able to trust him, that's why I say that. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times God will tell you this one step to do, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, but God, what's after that? And he's like, no, you mm -hmm. have to trust me. Take mm -hmm. this one Take step. step. Right, and then I'll Don't show you what's next. Case. Exactly. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. you have to trust God. But you also have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Because doing this full time, um, you honestly don't know where your next check is coming from. Right. So you have to take control of your business because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you have good relationships with people. You're good at networking. You call people back. When you get hired to do a gig, you learn the music, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> as is, mm -hmm. and then be open to change or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to be disciplined. I can't mm -hmm. say that enough. You really do have to be disciplined because, um, you know, we get booked through people mm. talking, through mm. word of mouth. Mm. That's how, you know, we get out and do what we do. So if y your name is trash and nobody can trust you, then mm. you done cut your own throat mm -hmm. before you even got out there. What are your future aspirations? Oh, my goodness. What do you hope to be a year or two from now? When I grow up, I want to... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just want to keep going in the, in the way that God wants me to go. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because mm -hmm. I never thought in a million years I would be doing what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. being part time with Radio One. Mm -hmm. If you had asked me that two years ago, mm -hmm. that would yeah. not have been my answer. But that's something that God put on the table. So I'm like, OK, you know, I'm here for it. So mm -hmm. whatever God got for me, I'm here for it, Lord. Talk about your parents, your wonderful parents. Oh, so the right reverend and the good deaconess, uh -huh, uh -huh. shout out to them because the good deaconess is watching on Facebook Live uh -huh. right now. So thank you, Mommy. <laughs> She's te te technological advanced. Yes, yes, Come she on, is. Miss Jeanette. Come on now. And she works out with you, too. Yes, she does. I see yes, her, you know, does. pushing okay. up a few uh -huh. things. I'm like, uh -huh. go ahead, Dad. Absolutely. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Her fitness. So, okay. so let's have a diva moment. Okay. okay. <laughs> how, about the, how about the shoes? Okay. That's exactly where I was going. You know, shoes. We apologize. We need a shoe cam. We, 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 yeah, we need a shoe cam because oh, Ronnie has some shoes. And maybe some somehow I took a picture of them and air them on the show a little later. We're we going to make sure. You know, we'll kind of like that. mash that thing in the next <laughs> Because you got to be right from head to toe. All know? the time. All, all the time. time. Okay. All That's the why time. you and Robin are together. Because he... <laughs> Come on, he Luther is. and Beyonce. Come yeah, on, yeah. Come, Come on. Come on, Let's Come on here, man. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what advice do you have for people who are up and coming, singers, you know, working on their craft, musicians that are trying to make it. Obviously, you've done a lot in your life, more than we can cover in this segment, but mm -hmm. what advice would you have for somebody right now that's really struggling and trying to make some things happen? Um, don't be afraid to do the work. Mm -hmm. Do the hard work. Do what some people will call the grunt work. Mm -hmm. So, um, and stop judging people because you have no place to judge. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mm -hmm. know that there's this thing where people may not accept a gig because they never heard of the artist mm -hmm. or, you know, they don't know who the connect is. Right. Well, I don't know who this person is, so I'm not going to play for them. You never know where your blessing is going to come from. Mm -hmm. sure. So, you know. And um, the next one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So be open to it because people are watching you whether you know it or not. Mm -hmm. And they'll never tell you that, but they'll see how you handle other situations before they come up to you mm -hmm. and present an opportunity. So just be open, you know, be disciplined, mm -hmm. and keep God first. It was a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. For more information on how to become a guest on Real Talk with Philip Carter or for general inquiries, please email us at realtalkwithphilipcarter at yahoo.com. Tune in next Monday for another edition of Real Talk with Philip Carter.